happened with you before? Page turning is always a challenge for all of us, unless we memorize, of course, but I find a lot of times when I do chamber music, I always would use the score, and many times, since I have to do these programs once a week, I don't always play from memory. You need to have a great page turning plan. So that's what we're going to talk about today in Learn Love Music. Before we get started, I want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our channel and let me show you some of the devices I use for page turning. The first thing you need to do is to take your music score and put it aside and replace it with either an iPad or a tablet. I use an iPad. This is a 10.2 inch iPad and it works great for my needs. Next, you need to use a wireless device to turn the pages. I use a page flip Firefly. It looks like this. And one side of it turns the page forward and the other side turns the page backwards. And you put it down at your feet. Another feature that I like with the page flip is that it uses two AA batteries. The other page turner I used had to be charged up all the time and I never knew when it was going to run out. I'd be in the middle of a piece and suddenly it would just stop. But the batteries last for a long time with this page flipper. And also a light goes on when the battery is running low. These two devices have to be paired up and the instructions are quite simple to do that. The next thing you need to do is to buy an app that will read and store the music for you. I use Fourscore. The next thing you need to do is to get the music. I use IMSLP. A lot of musicians use this. It's a, a free way to acquire scores. And there are thousands of pieces of music that are in this program. These are pieces of music that are in the public domain. Sometimes you run into some contemporary composers which still have a copyright out. But this would be for music written before the 19. 30s. After you have the IMSLP score, you download it into Fourscore so you can use it with your iPad. You can also scan music and put it directly into Fourscore. That is, if you purchase the music. That's the legal part of it. And once you have downloaded your music onto the iPad, you might want to write in things like fingerings, things you might ordinarily write in your music. And I use a Apple Pencil. And it's great because you can actually scribble. I can put anything I want, phrase marks, uh, places I need to work on, any sort of annotation right onto the iPad. So finally, the last thing we need to do is to figure out how to do the page turns. I use my right foot for the regular pedal, but I use my left foot to turn the pages with the page flipper. The page flipper can go backwards, as I mentioned before, and that would mean that if I go forward, I use the left, my left foot turning the pages. And if I go backwards, let's say I have a repeat, as I do in this uh, Chopin waltz, then I have to move my foot over to the left paddle. But it's, you have to be able to do it blind, because if you're looking at your hands, you can't be looking down at the floor at the page flip. That's why I like this one, because you really have a nice feel. It's kind of like driving a sports car, you know, the clutch and the brake and everything. Everything feels really good down there. That's what we want with this device. Most importantly, you have to practice using it. Usually I start to turn the page about one measure ahead of time. Depends on the tempo and how fast the notes are going by, but that's a good plan. Always be thinking ahead. It's a little bit tricky to use the unicorda pedal because you have to use your left foot for both the unicorda pedal and the page turner. I try to work around that so I don't need to use the unicorda pedal as much, but sometimes it is necessary. This is the system that I use. Perhaps you use a different system. Let me know. Put it in the comments down below and let me know what works for you. Maybe it works better. Some of our listeners might want to try out a different device. It's really handy to have the music in front of you and the pedal that can be used to turn the pages. Now let's listen to Chopin's Minute Waltz. By the way, it doesn't last a minute. Nobody can play it in a minute. I think the fastest that I ever played it was a minute and 15 seconds. But I really love this piece. It sort of spins around, it's quick, but it also requires a forward turn 
of pages and a backward turn because I have to go back onto the previous page on the repeat. I hope you've enjoyed this episode on Learn and Love Music and how to use the iPad and the pedal page turner. Hope to see you back again. And right now I'd like to play Chopin's Minute Waltz. Thanks for watching.